when we were not recording yet, you mentioned that you use um, Hyperland, if I'm not mistaken. So um, Linux, you seem like a Mac OS guy. Why are you using <laughs> Linux? <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, actually, that's, I don't see any problem with that. I used to be really, really, uh, really into the, the OS flame wars, but I actually see appeal for everything except for Windows, actually. <laughs> Man, um, just let me, let me pause you right there. People is going to think that the people that I bring over, that there's like a conspiracy, a conspiracy or something <laughs> against Windows, because nobody so far has liked Windows. <laughs> Everyone's like, okay, I'm into Linux, mainly Linux. Mm, some of a Mac OS and everyone and everyone's like not Windows and I don't do it on purpose. It's just I don't know. I need to get more Windows guys in here. But yeah, yeah go on. You're, well, you're a Mac OS guy, right? Tell me about yeah. that. Mac OS, yep. Yeah. Have you ever tried running Linux? Everyone keeps telling me to switch to Linux, like everyone. Because I have my Mac OS really not really customized, but if you look at it, you would you wouldn't notice that it's it's Mac OS, right? If uh, hold on, let's see what's happening here. So, for example, if I switch to my screen, you wouldn't know it's Mac OS. You're like, what kind of Linux is this? It's just the little Apple that I left there, so people know that it's Mac OS. But yeah, everyone tells me the same thing. You know, you you should switch to Linux, but I do love Linux. I run it only in servers. I have used it for years. I don't use a desktop environment. I just deploy a server. Debian is my operating system of choice. I just deploy them and I just SSH through them. And uh, yeah, but not for the desktop. I'm not ready to take that jump yet. And what about you? Uh, yeah, the desktop's a pretty big leap. Um, I actually... I think this might fly in the face of a lot of people. The the main reason that I use Linux on the daily is for the desktop. There's Mac OS is great, actually. I think it's a really polished experience and I think it works for a lot of people. I think it's great. Uh, Windows is also great if you use WSL. Um, <laughs> yeah, for sure. I agree on yeah. that. <laughs> um, but neither of them allow you to truly like customize the desktop experience how you like it um, and I've gotten to a point where I I cannot use a computer for more than a few hours at a time if it doesn't have my my specific like key bindings oh, and hyperland yeah. set up um, it's not even I wouldn't even like hyperlands okay I think it's fine it's got a few like reliability issues um, but the main reason I use it is just because it would take so much time to get used to anything else. Okay. Um, and did you get started with uh, with Linux or did you get started with something else? My first computer was a Linux machine. Mm -hmm. I used Windows after that for, say, five years, something like that. Mm -hmm. Uh, and now I've been running Arch, Hyperland, and Westerm for West term. yeah, for I want to say four years now, maybe. Okay. okay. Uh, Arch, and and why why was the first one Linux? Like that's not something most people would do, you know. Usually you get a computer and uh, you get it with Windows, you, right? Like. I don't know, my parents got me a computer and it had Windows installed. I, did, I didn't even know that something else existed. Like, yeah. Who influenced you into, in, into Linux, basically? Um, so my first computer was a, a machine that... So, I, so I, I like did odd jobs to like raise money as a kid. Mm -hmm. uh, and... I eventually built up, I think it was like, like maybe 300 bucks and mm -hmm. that you can't get a great machine yeah. for that price. Mm -hmm. um, so I decided to build a desktop from scratch mm -hmm. or not from scratch, obviously, but like, you know, from components. Um, 
And while I was doing that, a I don't even remember the context. Someone told me just that 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 I should approach Linux and that would be a really great to, way to learn how computers work. Mm -hmm. um, and so I installed Linux Mint on that first machine. It was so confusing, um, but I muddled through it. I eventually switched to Windows because I wanted to play video games. Oh, yeah, for sure. You couldn't do that on Linux at the time. Mm -hmm. Not, you just couldn't, other than maybe like Minecraft or something. Um, so I switched to Windows, and then I eventually switched back to Linux um, after I had been using a Raspberry Pi for like some random server things for a while, wow. and I felt confident enough. Um, and I haven't looked back. Except at my old job, they made me use Windows, and that sucked. Man, yeah, with WSL could be, but you still have that hypervisor in there, right? That extra layer that makes things slower. That's the only way that I can use Windows as well with WSL, but I just rather not use it at all. I don't game anymore, so I don't have a reason, but I do understand if you play games the whole day, mm, I would go with Windows. Well. People say that nowadays you can play whatever you want in Linux, you know, but I would go with Windows either way because it's just simpler. And um, if you do Windows application development, of course, you'd have to use Windows. And um, right. what, what what are your thoughts on, on Mac OS? We already discussed um, Windows. What are your thoughts on Mac OS? Uh, have you I, used it? I know. I have used it um, just for like, a month or so total because my I have like a like a 2014 Mac machine lying around and my Linux machine was broken. It was in the shop. Um, it was okay. I wouldn't. Yeah, I thought it was fine. I, the, like I said, the main thing that I was missing was just the the desktop. Like pretty much everything else. Like with Homebrew, and you can install whatever terminal like terminal emulator you want. It's like it's a pretty good experience. Um, I just couldn't, couldn't get used to the key bindings. Yeah. It takes time, um, to set everything up. That, that, that's the reason why I don't switch to Linux because I have all my key binds here already. Right. So if I want to switch to the terminal, it's just a single key bind. If I want to switch to another app, if I want to switch the scenes in OBS, man, I have it set up to my liking already. So switching to Linux would involve, you know, setting up different key binds um, at the OS level, right? NeoVim is fine. I can run NeoVim. doesn't matter where I run it. So, uh, yeah. And do you use, um, well, of course, you use a window manager in, in Linux. Which one do you use? Uh, Hyperland. Hyperland, you mentioned that. Okay. Do you use it in VSP mode or I don't know what the other mode is called, stack? I don't... I think I use the master layout. I think that's what it is. So it partitions the screen. Uh, like every time you open an app, it partitions the the screen. It so here actually hold on. I can show you. Okay. Yep. Um, in master mode, there's a master window, mm -hmm. and for me, I set that to be on the right side. Okay. Uh, and if you open any additional windows, they'll open. Oh. Um, so it's yes. not. Yeah, it's not binary partitioning. It's I have a main thing that I'm focusing on. This is usually like NeoVim, and then I have a couple of side windows. So this is maybe like if I'm working on a web app, I'll put it here, and then um, I'll have like documentation or something here. Interesting. Okay, yeah. so your main screen is going to stay there all the time. The main um, application and any others that you open are just going to open on the on the side then. Right. Okay. That seems quite useful. I guess it would be something similar to what you see on my screen right now. I keep this, um, the main application always on the left hand side, but I also keep this other thingy where I take the notes on the, on the right side. But if I switch to my browser, for example, terminal, if I switch to any other application like YouTube, or whatever else. Yeah. It's always there on the on the main screen. Okay, interesting. And um are you a single monitor person or multiple monitors? Um 
either. I'll use multiple monitors, so I have one. Um, but I'm a pretty nomadic worker. I can't stay in the same place um, physically for mm-hmm. too long without mm-hmm. losing focus. Okay. So I try to move around every couple hours. Um, and just by that nature, I tend to be working from a laptop a lot of the time. Okay. Um, but usually... I try to organize my day so that in the mornings, that's like deep work mode. That's where I'm trying to do one really difficult task. And in those cases, I'll, I'll try to stay like at a proper desk with a, a dedicated monitor and in addition to my laptop. Do you find it a little bit difficult when you switch? I only work with a single screen um, because I want the workflow to be exactly the same, right? So if I'm 